David, we know that all job seekers, what they do is that apply online, uh, create a profile on a company's ATS system and apply. And on your LinkedIn profile, you recognize them as the devils that kill the resumes, the ATS bots. So, and you kind of crack that code in terms of how to pass those ATS uh, devils or the engines. So what tips do you have for job seekers in order to make their resume pass the ATS system? Sure, so you have to be very mindful. You now, you shouldn't create a resume just to get past the software. You have to create a resume that, that tells your story, but you have to be mindful. 400, 600 applicants per job, you're one of many. Yes. And so companies or sometimes recruiters will go in and key in, I want applicants that have this skill, this skill, and this skill, hit enter, right? Mm -hmm. So you might apply for hundreds of jobs and you're like, I should be getting interviews. How come I'm not? What's but happening? it could, <laughs> right? Well, it's happening, but those evil resume bots might be standing in your way because you don't have enough of the keywords, hard and soft skills matching. So that being said, there's software out there yes. or you could do it old school and just make sure that the those hard and soft skills that are on the job description, if you have them, they really need to be on your resume. So what I do mm -hmm. is after I've created the resume yeah. and, and, and the listeners, job seekers can do this themselves. There's software out there that you can get that costs very little money, very little money. Mm -hmm. um, you just a subs uh, small subscription that scans your resume versus the job description and tells you what, in fact, what hard and soft skills might be missing, mm -hmm. put the ones in there, and that increases the likelihood of your resume actually getting seen by a human. Can you mention any of those uh, websites? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And uh, if you want, you know, obviously you can put it in the little show notes. But uh, SkillSinker, JobScan are two ones that, I mean, for about 20 bucks a month, mm -hmm. you can scan your resume versus the job description, quickly identify missing hard and soft skills, put those ones in there that you're com comfortable, uh, that you uh, possess those, uh, that knowledge. And now you increase your yeah. likelihood of your resume being seen. Yeah. I always tell my clients that have the job description, have the, uh, your resume and see what's the keywords. If they're using collaboration, if they're using teamwork, use the same word because that's what they're looking for, right? Oh, yes. And it's really easy. You know, if you print it out, just like you or whatever, mark it up. Start yeah. crossing off words that don't matter and look for those again. You'll see those buzzwords. Yeah. Just make sure they're in your resume. And that's why where some software kind of comes in, in uh, handy just because it saves you time. And do you think that so we all know that job seekers have to customize their resume when applying? So do you think that if they apply to this place or to, to the company X, they should go and change their resume also on LinkedIn. So when the job, when the recruiter comes, it says the same content as we discussed in the previous video or, or on LinkedIn, it should be the general uh, uh, accomplishments or information. Sure. Uh, I, I, my clients ask that. Now, if you're making some subtle changes, it doesn't have to be exactly word for word. So, I mean, if you don't want to, as long as they're pretty close. Yeah. Um, but but if they're if you're missing some some really some hard uh, level skills on your resume, maybe you do want to put them on your LinkedIn. You're not going to have to change them up too much. And if you're applying for the same types of roles, yeah. every time that you check. Uh, a project manager at Amazon, a project manager at uh, Microsoft probably is looking for some of the same you know, hard yeah. and soft skills. Yeah, those are great tips, David. Uh, and I hope uh, job seekers will implement in their next apl application. So tune in next time for other great questions with David.